Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here. Well, I was going to run my little lifelike 040 today, and when I turn on the power, oh yeah, there we go, I got power. Nothing. So, today I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot any HO scale locomotive. Steam, diesel, it can't be DCC though. This only works for DC locomotives. Now, you don't have to be an expert to do this, but you need to know your way around a little bit of me mechanics and electronics. But in this, in this video, you really don't have to worry about it. It's pretty simple. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing um, I like to try to do before I even mess with the locomotive is I like to make sure that my transformer has power coming out. Now, I was just running another locomotive, and that is a, another way you could test it, but another way you can is just take a screwdriver and, yep, we got power. So, now you know you have power coming out of your transformer, so that is not the issue. And next thing you want to do is wiggle this thing around, make sure it's it's not just a loose connection or something. Um, and sometimes they'll jump to life, but sometimes they won't. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is put your ear up to it and see if you can hear anything. I'll put the uh, microphone up to it. Nothing. So, I think our problem must be in the electronics of this locomotive. There has to be some sort of disconnect from the track, from the wheels, to the motor. There has to be something wrong there as there's not enough power getting to the engine, or there's not power at all getting to the engine. Uh, so... Let's go take this thing apart. Okay, so let me just explain a little bit about how these guys work. So, this is this very simple 040 type lifelike steam engine. Um, and these guys pick up power from these two rails. You got negative and positive, And you can see the copper pickups on each wheel. So, these guys are pretty simple. Um, and that's how they get their power, and then you can see the motor up inside of there, which we're going to open this guy up in a second here. I have to get my camera kind of set up. It's a little rigged up right now. But um, I have a feeling, and here's what can happen. Sometimes you can get either dirty wheels. It just, that's another thing I wanted to mention you got to check. Um, these wheels are nice and clean, so there's nothing wrong there. Um, but usually what happens is a disconnect happens between the motor and the pickups. Which, actually, there's our problem. There is a wire I can see desoldered. So, let's uh, let's get this thing apart. So, to get these guys apart, all you gotta do is unscrew a little screw down the smokestack. Just like that. And then you lift the shell off. And this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. You gotta kind of push it backwards. There we go. All right. Ooh, this one is the early one, so this has got the added weight. Now we can set our big weight off to the side. And there's our little mechanism in there. Um, now you want to try to keep these together. So, as you can see, we have a wire coming down to here, a wire coming down to here, which this is, the, this is our problem. You can see we have a bad connection here, because that wire is not connected to that plate. And these go to the brushes of the motor, which then um, creates a magnetic force that spins over the uh, motor. Which, I, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll have to do a video about it. But um, And then a few other things that can happen is your motor can go bad, which doesn't commonly happen as long as you maintain your locomotives. Um, your wheels could seize up. Um, that's only if you don't lubricate them or if it's very dirty and you're trying to get it running. But that doesn't usually happen on, like, common occurrences when stuff just kind of sits around. Um, and then another thing is grease and oil can dry up and harden, and that can cause you a lot of problems. Actually, SMT Mainline did a video where he had an old Model Power shark nose that he took apart, or I don't remember, I think it was a Model Power. Uh, I could be wrong. But he took it apart, and the thing inside was, the grease was literally hard as rocks, and it was crazy. Um, but, uh... That was a very that was that was an interesting video. Um, I haven't ran into that problem myself, but I know it can happen. Um, 
But as long as you keep your locomotives maintained, which I'll have to do a video on how I maintain my locomotives, um, and I'll show you guys what proper maintenance is, and, you know, uh, but, um, yeah, so, to fix our problem, you're gonna need a soldering iron. Not everybody has one. I actually have one of the fancy ones that I got for Christmas. I like these. Uh, if you are doing a lot of modeling, you really want one of those, uh, because it has adjustable temperature and such. Um, you're gonna need some flux, which I keep on this brush, so I can bring that out here. Um, and I'll show you guys... Basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soldering iron and we're gonna turn it on, get it heated up, and knock a can over. Um, and we're going to solder the wire right back on there. We're gonna heat it up and it should go right back on there. And that should fix our issue, but we're gonna have to see. So let me get that wire reattached and get this thing back together and we'll see what happens. Okay. So, wire soldered back on, and let's see if we got it fixed. Ooh, thing does not sound healthy. But, we fixed it. So, that is how you troubleshoot electrical issues on HO scale DC locomotives. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and now I can finally run my consist with my 2040 lifelike.